Are you an absolutely horrible cook, but you love pizza? Like you can't get enough pizza? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to make some focaccia pizza and I'm not Italian, let's go. So here's the ingredients that you're gonna need. These are non necessario, but you can add them to make your sauce a lot better. But we got some focaccia, we got some mixed cheese, we got some pepperoni, we got some salami, we got some rouse, and I know rouse is like under fire right now, but I still think it's dope. Got some garlic powder, some oregano, some crushed red peppers, and some chili powder. Now while we're doing all this massive amounts of prep, which I'm totally joking about, we're gonna set this to 375, preheat it. Now we got our baking sheet here, and I got some tin foil down, and I got some olive oil on there. I just like having some olive oil underneath the focaccia because then it makes it just taste yummy. We got that focaccia down on the baking sheet. I just make sure that none of the pieces have any major holes in them so I can make sure that the tomato sauce doesn't drip through. The sauce step is totally unnecessary, but you can do it if you want. The rouse is good stuff, but I add oregano, garlic powder, and chili powder, and I just make sure that there's enough to give me heartburn. So I like a lot of sauce on my pizza, and then I like a lot of everything. So I'm just putting in some oregano, I'm gonna put in the garlic powder, and then we're gonna do some chili pepper, or sorry, chili powder. And then we're gonna use this, the roasted red peppers are coming at after it's all baked. All right, so we got everything in there. Yummy, yummy, mix it up. So I got all the sauce loaded up, ready to put the cheese on. Gotta make sure I pay the mayor. There we go. All right, so let's go on this cheese. All right, got the cheese loaded up. And just remember, if you don't put dumb amounts of cheese on this, you're not doing it right. Now let's do the pepperoni and the salami. We're all loaded up, we're at 375. So the trick is I do about eight minutes to get everything sort of hot all the way throughout on the oven. And then I'm gonna do two to three minutes on the broiler. Just make sure you don't burn these off to oblivion because with the broiler, you can kill the whole thing. All right, so here's step one. So we're all heated up. And now I'm gonna turn on the broiler. I'm actually gonna take this out for a minute while the broiler gets heated up. And then I got the upper rack where the broiler is gonna cook this thing for a couple minutes. That's been out about a minute. The broiler does not take long to get going. So we're gonna throw this in there for just a couple minutes. Just keep an eye on it, but you wanna just get the whole top looking good. Ah, I gave it too much. I gave it too much. It was like literally 30 seconds. It was perfecto. And then I gave it just that extra 30 seconds. So like a minute and 19 seconds and it would have been perfect, or maybe a minute and 29 and one half seconds. But that's what I'm saying about this broiler, like you gotta be careful because this could totally ruin everything. Uh, but that's still gonna be really good. There's only a couple little spots. Now the last step is you're gonna add on your roasted red peppers on top. Just like you're at the restaurant, you know? So basically that's it and enjoy it. And it's not expensive and it's easy to make and it's fun and you can have pizza whenever you want. So thanks for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I've got a bunch of little cooking videos that are super fun and they're easy and it's fun stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make some dope focaccia pizza. Focaccia baby.